Hey guys, it's Gameface here and welcome back to episode 10 of my Real Madrid career mode. Really looking forward to today's episode. Going to get through uh, the January transfer window a little bit and uh, hopefully try and play a few games as well. A lot for us to do, um, really looking forward to it. So first of all, what we're going to be doing is um, listing a couple of players, or I have listed a couple of players in between episodes. In fact, I think just one player, I think, because we did a poll in the last episode uh, to determine whether I should be listing Vasquez and Navas. Now you guys voted pretty overwhelmingly to basically transfer list uh, Kalor Navas. So that's exactly what we're going to do. He's obviously got no real use for for him in our team, really, because we've already got a better goalkeeper. And Lunin's coming through as our second choice. He gets transfer listed. And I also asked about Vasquez as well. But there's about 60% of people said yes. 40% of people said no. So I'm not going to list them straight away. We'll keep them in the club for now. I know that's obviously a majority, quite clearly. But uh, I'd much rather it be a stronger majority than just 60%. Uh, I think something that we do need to try and do, though, and something, again, which was in the votes, is you guys said that I should recall some of the loan players to then hopefully try and sell on to raise some money. So that's exactly what we're going to try and do. We're going to recall Hannes Rodriguez and uh, recall him for just under £5 million and then transfer list him straight away. Let's just hope a club comes in for him. I'm not really too sure what's going to happen here. Uh, we're going to do exactly the same with Kovacic as well. You guys voted for this to happen quite overwhelmingly too. So again, we'll recall him £2.5 million spent on that. And we'll add him to our transfer list. So hopefully we'll get some money in for those two guys. We'll have to wait and see. We have to really do that because we need money for, from somewhere in order to be able to sign the, the sort of players we want to bring in. We're looking at Neymar. Uh, we're looking at potentially Hazard. Uh, but it'll be one of the two of those guys, hopefully in today's episode, providing we can raise that money. Before we go any further, I'd really appreciate your support in this series by dropping a like on today's video. The support on the last video was absolutely incredible. So thank you so much for that. Uh, if we could try and 100 likes on today's video, that'd be brilliant. And please go ahead and subscribe if if you haven't already as well, as we try and push towards 25,000 subscribers. Let's go with this opening fixture that we have here against Thinks Real Batis in the league. Currently one point behind Barcelona in second place. This is even going to go with Courtois starts in goal, Carvajal, uh, Varane, Ramos and Fernandes at the back. We've got Casemiro, Modric and Pogba in midfield. Junior, Lendowski and Asensio as our front three. A few tired players, hence the changes to this team. Um, but we are going to go with quite a strong side uh, nevertheless. Let's crack on things. Let's try and get ourselves uh, a three points. Obviously to try and keep put the pressure on Barcelona and just hope they slip up here. Okay, here we go for this game against Real Betis. Any sort of rival between these two teams? I've no idea. They might be, just because they both have Real in their name. Uh, but let's see how we get on in this match. Uh, hopefully come away with three points uh, in a game that we should win. There's no doubt about it in terms of the teams on, on a piece of paper you'd expect us to win. Uh, that's not always the case, as we've seen many times before. Let's see how he gets on, though, with Junior down the right-hand side for a change. He's going to cross the ball into an OK area, but the keeper gets there. Come on, Pogba, that's yours. There we go, into Lendowski. Chest down, now into Asensio. Lendowski, no. OK, Modric over to Junior, who will shoot. It's saved by the goalkeeper. I was hoping Lendowski would hold this run, but he just ran into an offside position. Didn't help us there, but Modric still going. Oh, got blocked. Junior still going to look for a cross here into that post. Asensio on the volley. It's 1-0. What a volley that is on his left foot. Junior with the cross. And that's a brilliant goal. 25 minutes in. That was incredible. I was expecting that to be cleared by the defender, but it wasn't. Junior just loses the fullback so easily. And Asensio comes in at the back post. Defender heads thin air. Simple as that. And Asensio just smashes it home. What a finish that is. Great technique. Keeps it down as well. Could have quite easily skied it or put it wide. But we're in front. 1-0. We're taking the lead. Looking for Asensio once again. Can he try and return the favour for Junior? Oh, my days. It was so close there. I thought it was a goal. I was so close to uh, getting a second goal there. And it would have been the roles reversed those two players. Junior very, very close. And probably should have scored. But a big save there from the goalkeeper. Casmero to step up. And sort of miss hit that. Lively start to the game. Probably could be 2-0 up here. Casmero mid to Modric. Back into Casmero, Bogba into Modric, and that is the second goal. That's fantastic. Little bit sort of fluky, I suppose you could say. It sort of springs around the box a little bit there. Uh, not the cleanest of goals, but a great strike nevertheless from Modric. Makes it 2-0, and uh, like I say, it bounced around the edge of the box for a little bit here. Eventually found a bit of space for Modric just to put it home. He makes it look very easy, actually, in the end, because the space opens up so much for him that it is a pretty clear shot for him. But it's 2-0, double our lead, and it's fully deserved. I'm glad we're actually taking the chances. Well played. Here we go. Chance now for Junior to run at the defence once again. Needs Asensio in support. Can he get there? He should do. 
And that's got to be a penalty. If he went down, it probably would have been as well. And we tried to find Modric, saved by Lopez. Yeah, I mean, if he'd gone down there, I think it would have probably been given as a penalty. It's half time. It's 2-0. Really impressed, actually. Um, not being this positive about a performance and a scoreline for a little while. But 2-0 at half time. We're actually taking our chances. Yes, we could have one or two more, but that's always going to be the case. Uh, goalkeeper pulling off a, a good few saves as well. But just glad we get the second one. We now need to push on and get a third one pretty quickly, though. Robert E. Sand passed around the ball pretty well, actually, in the early stages of this. Uh, second half and not had too much of it a little bit worried that if they do get a goal back then it might be an interesting end to this game so we definitely need to try and hit them on the break here try and get a third goal junior to shoot and it's saved pretty easily there by lopez but he did force some sort of a save landowski to put it back in unfortunately we can't get anything on it chance to pop but he'll shoot and it's a really good finesse but unfortunately it's just wide thought he'd gone in for a third goal no don't allow this to go in big chance here for Albertis. Good save, Courtois. Luckily, it doesn't fall to the head of one of their attackers. They're so close and well defended. We can now clear this away. Ten minutes left. Let's keep hold of the clean sheet. Modric. Chance here for Junior. Oh, off the post. That should have been a third. I thought it was a third as well. If only it wasn't his left foot, that I think definitely would have gone in. So close to finish off the game with a third goal. That was really good play. Right through the middle of them. And that's something we've not managed to quite get going in this second half. Casmero with a chance on his left foot. And was that blocked or saved? No, it just went over. And that so finishes 2-0. Uh, really, really good first half. Second half, we did start off as good, to be honest. But we had to defend really well. That's exactly what we did. We kept a clean sheet on top of that. And then towards the end of the game, last sort of 10-15 minutes, we were back on top once again. And the better team. So fully deserved. Really good victory. And above all, uh, really good performance, actually, as well. So very impressed. Of course, we could have had a third and fourth goal, possibly. But 16 shots, 9 on target two goals and uh, still really happy with that result now uh, Barcelona lose as well so that means we go first I think fantastic news on top of uh, a victory Barcelona dropping all three points great news for us this week Lunin continues to go up 83 overall now it's unbelievable how much he's grown in this uh, season so far seven overalls and we are only in January so it's really really impressive quite clearly going to be our number two at the club uh, when Navas goes uh, which hopefully should be in this window, but we'll have to wait and see whether any offers come in. He has been transfer listed, so maybe that increases the chances. Remember, we can only really bring in half-decent players if we sell players. So for now, we're not going to be making any offers because obviously 30 million doesn't get you Eden Hazard. It doesn't get you Neymar. So um, yeah, we are for now going to be holding back in terms of uh, actually putting offers in. Okay, so what's this game now in the uh, Spanish Cup? What we're going to do is I think we're going to sim this game once again. We sim the first leg. Now, the reason why I'm simming these games is not only is it a team that we should should really be beating but it's also a January transfer window and I always do that in the transfer windows just to kind of get things moving get some deals sorted out as quickly as possible so that's what I'm going to do once again here we're going to sim this game we're going to hopefully try and make sure we go through to the next round you'd hope we should uh, with the team that we've got out still a very good side Courtois, Adrozola, Vallejo, Ramos, Guerrero, Casmero, Cruz, Isco, Vasquez, Mariano, Asensio and two minutes in Handes gives them the lead that's not good news for us it's now 3-2 but Asensio gives us the away goal that cancels out their away goal we'll skip it finishes 2-2 Main thing is, we're through to the next round. I don't think there was any injuries or suspensions either. Transfer for in for Kovacic. This is more like it. Manchester City, we know they've got money to spend as well. £39.3 million. We could ask for more here. Definitely could ask for more. And that's exactly what I'm going to try and do. It's just how far do you push it? This is always the issue. I always end up scaring off the, the clubs. I'm going to try and get 45 for him. Let's just wait and see. It's only £6 million more, so it's not like I'm asking for loads more, but... Uh, they might be a little bit tricky with me. We'll say 45. I'm prepared for them to walk out the door here. There's still plenty of time to try and get him out of the door as well. So we'll wait and see. Just come back with a different offer. Yes, 45 million pounds. Okay, hopefully he now agrees to that contract and he can be out the door and we can get a nice little 40 odd million pounds for him. Okay, so that recalling of players might have worked for us. I'm not going to get too happy about it until it actually goes through though. Transfer in here for James Rodriguez. Yes, it's happening. Liverpool coming in with a big bid. Not quite as big as I was hoping for, but still a big bid. Uh, 52.9 million pounds. They've got more money than that to spend. I'm going to try and get 60 for him. Maybe that is pushing it a bit too much, but we'll see. Again, I don't want the deal to fall through, but it's important that we try and maximise the amount of money we're getting for these guys. Okay, so I was going to go for 60. I don't, I don't push it, to be honest. We're going to go 57. So it's only a small increase, but what's he going to say? Yes, he, we've got a deal. I could have probably pushed it to 60, but I'm not going to risk it. I want these guys out the door and I want the cash. It just gets better and better, doesn't it? Transfer in here for Navas, as well as the transfer in for Isco, £120 million. Pounds. Oh my god, this is ridiculous now. The bits have started to flood in. Uh, we'll look at Navas first of all. Newcastle coming in for him. That's a strange offer, 24.8. Mean, could you not have at least done his release clause? Once again, we're going to negotiate. We're going to try and get 27. It's not much more, but it's 
more than his value. It's the top end of his sort of market value, if you like. So let's see whether Rafa's willing to part with that sort of cash. They obviously are not uh, a team that's known for splashing their cash, particularly in real life. But let's see what he says. There we go. £27 million agreed to it. So many players leaving us at the moment. And a bid in for Isco from our rivals, £120 million. He's worth a lot more than that. I'm obviously not going to sell him, but it's just crazy to see that sort of offer actually submitted for one of our players. But like I say, rejected. We've got three big names out the door anyway that's going to bring us a lot of money, hopefully, in the next week or two. But first of all, let's go with this game against Sevilla. Back in the league, Courtois starts in goal. Carvajal, Varane, Ramos and Fernandez once again. And in fact, it's the exact same team other than Isco comes in for Asensio. So that's what we're going to do for this game. Uh, Asensio on the bench. No particular reason for that other than Isco's in good form and... This go, I think, deserves a chance to play on that left-hand side. So we're going to give that a go. Uh, Sensio will probably come on at some point, though. He did score a great goal in the last game, so wouldn't be surprised if he does feature. But yes, like I say, we are second place technically now because Barcelona have just played an extra game than us. But if we do get ourselves a pointer at a victory here, then we go back in front. So basically, let's not lose. OK, then here we go for this game against Sevilla. Let's see how we get on. It's going to be a tough game. It's going to be tougher, I imagine, than Real Batiste. Uh, Real Batiste are uh, not quite as good as Sevilla, I don't think, on paper. So we'll wait and see what comes this match. I'm just hoping we can get a good performance once again and be even more clinical than the last game. Passing needs to be a little bit slicker, I feel. Uh, Junior, chance to get a cross in here into the back post. Isco has to score it. Isco had to score that. How has he not managed it? It's just a flat header, isn't it? Do you know what I mean by that? It's just flat, sort of off target. Should have cashed in on Isco. No, I'd never do that. He's too good. Chance here for Sevilla. No way. Yeah, it's a frustrating goal to concede is that one, uh, but 10 minutes before half time, we're losing the game 1 0. A little bit surprising, but it's not all over. It's, there's still plenty of time to go. Um, but yeah, very frustrating that we conceded in that way. Courtois should probably do better here. Um, we should also defensively uh, stop the ball from going through, I think. And uh, like I say, Courtois should probably deal with the shot power of the uh, striker a little bit more than he did. Uh, so yeah, losing the game 1 0. Disappointing from us all around there. Uh, but Sevilla have looked good at times, so there's no real surprise that they've found a way through there. Um, it's just a shame we haven't had time to get a goal ourselves. Oh no, 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 no way. No way. 2-0 Sevilla. This is where the game sort of, uh, yeah, kicks you in the teeth when you're already down. Uh, a few minutes later, and this has happened. Yeah, we should clear it. There's no doubt about it. We, we should definitely clear this defensively. Uh, we're all over the place. And it's absolutely useless for us, really. Not able to clear our lines properly. Trying to play out from the back. That backfired. And suddenly he's flicked up the ball. It's another head kick and it's in. So I don't really know what's gone on there. But 2-0 Sevilla. And uh, this is really not good news going to the halftime break. Into a great area. Absolutely useless defending. We could be 3-0 down there. That really should have been a third goal. Saved by Courtois this time. That's the only thing that stopped us. Uh, Courtois should get there and he does. And thank God we're going to the halftime break. We need to make a couple of changes. I know exactly what I'm going to do. Um, because we have had some er some errors and some issues in that first half. Uh, they're pretty clear to see. Modric is going to come off and we're going to bring on Asensio on the left-hand side. You can say whatever you like about Isco. He's not a left winger. I don't care where he plays in real life. He's not a left winger on this game. Doesn't have the pace to do it. Doesn't have um, the physicality and the ability to dribble past players out wide uh, in order to do that. So he's going to play centrally. I really like him still. He's a good midfielder, good attacking midfielder. that creates chances. So he's staying on the pitch. Uh, let's take Modric off instead. Bearing in mind, we needed a point really to go, I think, back to the top of the league. Three points would have guaranteed it. But uh, this is not looking good for us right now. We have started off the second half good. There's still plenty of time, but it's coming back down from a 2 0 deficit. I don't think it's something we've done so far in this series. Chance here for Lendowski. He's running through. He's lost the pace, but he still gets a shot away. Fair play to him. It's always been difficult on his left foot from that sort of distance, but at least we got some sort of shot away. It's a chance for us at least, and trying to find him once again that cleared. Oh my days. No way has that just happened from that range. Oh no. Massive, massive problems here. This is what this game sometimes does to you. It's just that. That is just what the game is, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? That is useless. Why can't you have a situation where the goalkeeper just takes control and picks up the ball like a normal goalkeeper would? Here we go. Asensio running through. 20 minutes left. And he doesn't really seem to have any legs in him. But he's still going. Asensio to shoot. It's a goal. It's, it's it's a goal, okay. Let's get that, please. 2-1. 20 minutes left. That's flown in. Was not expecting that. D probably regretted shooting as soon as I had a shot there. I was, probably should have gone for the pass, but it's gone in, so I'll take it. 2-1. 
And could we get ourselves a point here with another goal? It's actually been a good second half. We just didn't get a goal up until that point. So I can't complain about performance of the second half. It was really the first half that um, made a bit of a mess of the game. Pogba driving forward. Lendowski looking to make a run. He's going to take his time. But it's now through Lendowski for a second. And it's a goal. 2-2. Two -two. 15 minutes left for back on level terms. I'll have that. Thank you very much. Lendowski does a great run from him. It's finally great to see that run from uh, some of some of our attacking players in behind the defence. And I think it was Pogba that picked him out. Really good pass through. And he scores 2-2. Back in level terms. Could we complete the, the turnaround here with a third goal later on? Again, not going to get too carried away. Because you know the way that this game sometimes flip-flops from one team being in control to the other. I'm just hoping it favours us in the final stages of this game. Oh, it was such a good ball to ascend to. He had to get there. Go on, Lendowski through to Junior here. Big chance for Junior. He's one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. Can he get a third? Yes, he can. And there we go with six minutes left. We've got ourselves a third goal to be in front of this game for the first time. And we might just have completed the comeback. We've not done this, I don't think, before on this career mode. It's very difficult to do because usually what happens when you 2-0 down is the opposition pile on more and more and more before you know it's 5-0 by the end of the game. But we've turned it around here with a really, really good second half performance. Much, much better than the first. Let's not get too carried away. There's still six minutes to go, but Junior has just got himself the third goal of the game. Crazy. Okay, final two changes. Uh, inevitably, some changes made now with Guerrero and Zelinski to come on. We'll take off Lendowski and Isco. Uh, a few changes there. Guerrero going to come on and play as left mid. Fernandez becoming a fifth uh, defender, really, for us, our third centre-back. Uh, Junior will stay as our right winger, um, but we'll go with that, I think, for now. We'll just see how that works out for the final five or six minutes. It's going to be very much clinging on to this game. Have to make sure we get ourselves a victory to go top of the La Liga. Let's just hold on. Nothing stupid here. Let's just see out the rest of this game. Said nothing stupid and we're passing it around at the back. That's very, very stupid. And it's a chance here for Sevilla. What a block. And let's just get that one out, please. Thank you very much. Don't you dare. It's wide. Okay, take your time, Courtois. Take your time. There's 30 seconds left. Just don't do anything stupid. See that ball out. No, don't let him cross. Don't let him cross. I said that's not... Oh, we're going to concede. We're going to... Oh, well played. It's got to be it. Yes, it is. And we've won the game 3-2. I'll take that. Three points for us. Hard fall victory. Came back from 2-0 down to win this game and fully deserved. I'll take that. Really, really good second half. And uh, we're very clinical. And a much better team in the second half. And probably overall in the game, we were as well, uh, despite having a good first half severe. Uh, but it was enough to take us top. Like I said, I've not had one of those sort of comebacks at all on FIFA 19. That's very, very unusual. But we've done it. Nine shots, five on target. In terms of stats, it probably favours them in terms of the shots and shots on target. But uh, we did enough ourselves to win, so most important thing. Let's take a look now at these emails. I'm assuming there's some sort of like transfer offers to take a look at here. Seems like the Kolasic deal's happened, and it has. He's been sold. He goes to Manchester City. £41.5 million from that deal. Bidding for Navas from Watford as well. A little bit late to the party, but uh, if we can try and get some more for him... And I'll go ahead with that. Let's try to get 29 for him, see what Watford say to 29. They've matched it. Newcastle paying 27 right now, so we'll take either amount. Okay, so on this game against Atletico Madrid, unfortunately we are going to have to play this game um, before we can get onto any transfers, if we even can in today's episode. We'll have to wait and see now. It depends on how quickly those deals are tied up. Uh, but let's take a look at the team we're going to put out for the Madrid derby. It's the first leg of the quarterfinals of the Spanish Cup. So, Courtois starts in goal, Carvajal, uh, Varane, Ramos and Guerrero at the back. So a few changes here, Casmero, Cruz and Modric in midfield. Vasquez, Landowski and Asensio is our front three. Vallejo on the bench with Azuzola, we've got Pogba, Zelensky, Isco, Junior and Mariano uh, on the bench as well. So let's crack on with things, let's see how we get on. Hopefully try and beat Madrid, we're going to have to play a better first half for the last game, but if we can play at the same level as the second half, we'll, then we should be okay. Well then, here we go, Madrid derby, Copa de España, first leg. That's not a good way to start the first leg of uh, the quarterfinals, giving the ball straight to them. But um, this is obviously an away match for them, so we need to make sure we keep a clean sheet in this game, ideally. Uh, easy said than done, though. This is a tough opposition, but we are a good team. We've got some good players, and let's see how we get on. It's also a little bit difficult in the snow, but I'm not going to make any excuses. Uh, it is just a little bit tricky to adapt to that. No way. Why is he free at the back post? Still a chance for them, 1-0. Too many players that are, are marked, and you can't do that against such a good opposition. It's Griezmann, I don't want to see that, that's embarrassing as that. Uh, but yeah, it's 1-0 to Lesko Madrid, 15 minutes in, they've had two shots, they've scored one, we've not had a shot yet. And uh, yeah, it's just basically from Paul Markey in the box. So yeah, I mean, that's the clean sheet out the window. Um, already 1-0 down, it's not good, it's an away goal for them. Still plenty of time though. 
Go on, Asensio. You've got to get there. Yes, that we, there we go. Come on. Chance for him to attack. Needs somebody to do something ideally. That would be helpful. Big opportunity. Good shot. Or it was going to be a good shot, I think, for Vasquez. It's half time. 1 0 down. I can't complain that much, really. They've been the better team. They should be 1 0 up. It's probably a fair scoreline at this stage. They've had good opportunities, better chances than us. We need to create a bit more. We need to break down their defence a bit more as well. It's a little bit tough to break them down. There is sort of gaps that have opened for us, opportunities potentially as well, uh, where we could maybe have done a little bit better, but I uh, need to start creating a few more. Landowski trying to find Asensio. Asensio gets there. Is he onside? I hope he is. He is. It's one all. All my days. We've only five minutes into the second half. Asensio scored, and he scored another great and an important goal for us once again. And it's absolutely fantastic there. What a ball that is to Asensio. He's just in the right position to get onto the end of it. And uh, didn't look offside at all, but I think maybe it's due to that guy not playing the offside trap. I think that was uh, supposed to be marking him. Great run from Asensio, just used his pace and a bit more strength than uh, Juan Fran and then prods it past the keeper. Didn't think the shot was going in, but it does and it's one all. Very, very important goal. I'd like a second though. There's Mero into Cruz. Can we find Modric? Go on Modric, back across. Lendowski overhead kick. That would have been such a good goal if that had gone in. Fantastic play. That's the sort of passing I like to see. Little chip balls through. Modric getting to it actually really well. Very impressed that a 33-year-old managed to get to that. Okay, first change. Uh, Cruz coming off. Pogba coming on. Uh, I think I might also bring on Junior and take off Vasquez as well. He's not particularly tired, but Junior just seems to have more impact. So that's what we're basing it on. 25 minutes to go. Uh, let's just see whether those changes do make a difference. I hope they do. Griezmann will deliver a free kick in here. Got to try and clear that one away. We have done. Oh, no. That's not good at all. Jesus, that nearly went in from that angle. Go on, Modric. Over to Asensio. Needs some players to get into the middle. Asensio tries to deliver it. Oh, Junior was approaching the back post so close there. Chance here again for Pogba. He's going to turn his man and shoot. Oh, big save by a black. We've had good chances again in the second half. It's a really even match, competitive game. It's great to see. Modric delivers a ball in, heads down, and unfortunately couldn't get anything else on it. Should have probably done a little bit better with that header, though. Seconds to go. That's going to be it. Finishes 1-0. Really, really competitive game. I love seeing those sort of matches. It's 1-0, and uh, they have the advantage with the away goal, obviously, at the moment. Uh, but like I say, very competitive game. Yes, we could have won the match, but so could they have really as well. A couple of chances in the first half. Um, but yeah, just great to see both teams really going for it and uh, a really, really impressive performance from both sides. Uh, good football shown by both teams. You don't say that too many times. I've not had to say that too many times so far in this career mode or on FIFA 19 at all. But seven shots, three on target. We had more shots, but, um, you know, it's a pretty even game. One all's probably fair, maybe even two all. Okay, so let's have a look at this email. And Rodriguez has been sold now as well. £52.5 million. This is crazy. £124 million in the budget. Can we also get Navas out the door before we end today's episode? Then we might even look to put in a bid for Neymar. Or maybe even try and sign him, possibly. Um, bit cheeky from our rivals here. Unless Go Madrid coming in for De Thomas. No. Uh, he might leave permanently. You guys, I think, in the comments did say that I should sell... I can't remember which one it was now. It might be one or the other, or maybe even both. But um, I might leave that for next episode to deal with that. We're going to focus on the three main players, two of which we've sold now. Hopefully Navas also leaves. Does he? Yes, Navas has sold, but who to? Looks like Newcastle, £24 million from that deal as well. Brilliant stuff, really, really happy with that, and nearly £150 million to spend. Once we've changed around the wages, about £140 million to spend, 400 on the wage budget. Definitely enough to at least approach these players with a half-decent offer. Not necessarily sign them. I mean, Neymar's very, very expensive, isn't he? We'd have to probably let Lendowski go, or Vasquez maybe go as part of that deal. Yeah, maybe we should do a poll. I think we should do a poll for Neymar or Hazard. Obviously, Mbappe would be my number one choice, but we can't sign him, unfortunately. Uh, so, between Neymar and Hazard, I'd say, is there anybody else we could include in that? I don't think there really is anybody else on that sort of level. Hazard's got a release clause which we can't quite afford. Um, like I say, if, if only it was Mbappe, we'd probably just sign him straight away. So yeah, let's do a poll in the top right-hand corner. Neymar or Hazard, we'll sign them hopefully next episode. Don't want to rush things, you don't have to rush things. There's still plenty of time to go. A uh, few days left, and uh, we'll wait and see what happens. Thank you all so much for watching today's episode. I really appreciate you dropping a like. It's probably been my favourite episode of the series, I'd say. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it too. Also, subscribe if you haven't already as well. That'd be absolutely fantastic. And I'll see you guys next time for another episode. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.